Hi everyone, this is Carl, and this is Fundamental Statistics in Excel, finding the p-value. So what we're going to do is kind of very high level discuss what the p-value is and what does it mean when you're making statistical inferences and populations and groups and whatnot. So it's a little different than the z-value, which is a test statistic, which can be also used in hypothesis testing. But for the p-value, it is one of the core kind of validity scores that we use that is used across to kind of show if there's any st statistical significance, i.e. your sample size and your method and your test selection are valid enough, meet all of the tests and requirements that we can at least suggest and prove that given the sample that this relationship might exist. So what we'll do to kind of help with that understanding is to provide a very basic problem with regard to age and wisdom. So we are predicting possibly that age has a positive relationship. The older you are, the wiser you are. And so what we'll do to kind of help this out with respect to our finding our p-value is to do a data tab and data analysis. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a regression just to see if that line exists, if that's statistically significant. So we'll go to OK. We have most of everything here. Our y, which is our explanatory value right here. Independent variable x or age is right here. Labels in the front. We want to make sure the labels are captured. We'll put this right here. Yep, it's there. And so we're ready to go. So this is our output below. So we want to say, okay, where is our p-value? Where is that p-value? And it's right here. Okay. So what does it mean? We want to know, okay, if our p-value is less than 0 0.05, then our findings are statistically significant. In this case, if they're less than 0 0.05, that means that there is a relationship between the two variables. So we can actually do a quick equation as well. So if um, this value right here is less than 0 .0, 0 0.05, then we reject, oops, we can do some text, reject the null. Else, fail. And remember with text, you can do, you have to do parentheses, fail to reject the null. So we'll know real quick, reject the null because it is less than. So that means that there is a statistical relationship, statistically significant relationship between age and wisdom. And in the same vein, in other kind of outputs that we've looked at previously, you can do the same kind of thing. So assuming this traditional, um, the traditional 95% confidence level or alpha equals 0 0.05, we can do the same thing here. So 0.88, we know 0.88 is 0.88 if this value is less than 0 0.05. It's pretty obvious, but just to kind of good practice, fail, fail to reject. Else, if it's false, or actually, reject the null, fail to reject the null. Fail to reject. Keep it short. Fail to reject, because it is greater than 0 0.05 or alpha. Going a little further down, we can do the same thing with an ANOVA single factor. Our p-values right here. See how the p-values are the same? So this p-value is critical in helping us understand whether or not we can say there's a statistical significance to our findings, our comparison. So we hope this helps your understanding of the p-value and as it's used in, other, in several tests, uh, more info will be coming along. But just let us know if you have any questions along the way. Thanks so much.